I don't know what your responsibilities were over the week, but have you over the weekend? But have you talked with or seen Malik, and ha- what's your feeling on uh, his spirits as he goes through a concussion? I know you went through one la- a couple weeks ago yourself. Uh, he's doing well. I saw him today um, for the first time since Friday, but um, he was in good spirits. You know, he's he's doing what he needs to do to, um, I guess concussion all you can really do is keep your eyes closed so you know uh he's he's handling that and uh, he's in he's in good spirits how hard is that to go through darius having you just gone through one versus like you know when you have a hand injury or a toe injury or whatever yeah, it varies for everybody you know it, it can affect you know your mood your sensitivity to things your vision different things it, for everybody is different but um you know he's he's handling it well and i think i think he'll be all right and then the other guy I'd ask about is uh, Jalen Hyatt. You know from your experience a couple years ago when you weren't playing much uh, how frustrating that could be, and you obviously worked yourself back to I think you led the team in receiving yards that year. So uh, how did you handle it? What would your advice be to a young kid about he's not playing as much as he thought he you know, would be? Um, that's the NFL. It's a very competitive league. You know, Specifically our team, we have a lot of good players on our team. And, um, you know, your your maybe lack of playing or involvement at times is not always an indictment on you. You know, sometimes it's just the, the you know, situation you're in, the people you're around. But, you know, obviously Jalen knows he's a talented player. He knows he can help his team win. And we know he's a talented player. We know he can help his team win. But, um, you know, it's a long year. We've only played four games. Um, the kind of dark reality of the NFL is sooner or later somebody's going to get hurt. Somebody's going to, you know, stuff happens. So, you know, in one in one way, shape, or form, his opportunity will come. And for us as players, your job is just to be ready for whenever that opportunity presents itself. Thank you, Darius. Mm-hmm. Jordan, we're on. Hey, Darius, what's up, man? Not too much. How you doing? Uh, good. Um, you're now four games into the season. I know it's still early, as you said, but it is basically the quarter pole, kind of, sort of, now in 17 games. What do you view your offensive identity at this point through four games? Um, I think we've done a pretty a pretty consistent job of uh, moving the ball over the past three weeks, specifically. You know, I think uh, outside of uh, game one, I think the last three games, like I said, we've moved the ball really well. We've gotten into scoring position fairly consistently. We just haven't uh, been able to finish in the red zone like we wanted to, obviously, this last game specifically. But, um, you know, I think on offense, we've done a good job establishing, you know, the run game at times. Um, you know, in the Washington game, we ran it really well. Uh, we ran it really well. We ran it pretty well against Cleveland. Uh, not as great against Dallas, but, you know, most of that was self-inflicted wounds. And I think, you know, we've we've also done a pretty good job on offense of being efficient. You know, I think we've wanted to maybe hit some of the more explosive, bigger plays. Uh, we've hit a couple of them. Obviously, could have hit more, but we've done a good job of being efficient, moving the chains, and sustaining drives. I'm just asking because I'm curious. You know, you guys talked a lot about getting those deep shots this offseason. It mm-hmm. hasn't exactly happened. So I'm wondering if you view yourself as like a quick passing team, uh, you know, running team that can pound it, or play action team that's trying to hit deep balls. Like, what do you what do you see when I ask you that? Yeah, I mean, I think we've um, we've tried to get the shots up. We've gotten them up a couple times. We just haven't converted on them. Um, at as high of a clip as we would want to. And the reality of deep shots is you you only hit, you know, whatever. You hit a small, everybody hits a small percentage of them anyways. You know, they're not easy plays to complete, but obviously, you know, we'd like to um, have completed more than we have to this point, but all you can do is get the shots up and try to make them when you get them. Paul Schwartz. Hey, Darius. Hello. Hey, hey. did you, um? Um, um, with, with a weekend off, you know, I mean, people who are in other professions don't usually watch their profession. You know, I mean, they get away from it. Did you watch a lot of NFL football, uh, you know, since Thursday night? Uh, yeah, I, I watched a decent amount. Decent amount. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's you're a fan, right? You want to watch. Uh, so so I, I'm always curious as, as a player, when you just sit back and watch, right? Because, um, you know, you get the weekend off and, and you see what other teams are doing offensively, either good or bad. And then you look at your team. Do you either get ideas or or just look and say you know they're making it look easier we're, we're having too hard a time you know what i'm saying just yeah. as, as a not really as a fan but as a fan and as a as, as a player involved in it 
Yeah, I mean, I think when you watch the NFL specifically, you start to realize that uh, sometimes you think that it's all going great for some team or another. And you don't, all, depending on what time you play on a Sunday, you don't necessarily watch their game. But, um, you know, for example, like the Bills before before last night, they were rolling. I think they put up almost 40 or they put up at least 30 plus every game. Uh, we're firing people up. And then last night they're playing the Ravens and they look like they're in hell. You know, so it's like it, the NFL is 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 like that. You know, the Saints, you know, we're pretty sure they came out and put up 40, two or three games in row two. And then they played uh, the Falcons yesterday and, you know, they lost the game, game winning field goal. And it just kind of shows you that this league's really competitive. Um, you're not just going to go out there and, and beat the brakes off everybody. You know, you're going to have to show up every week and you have to win each game. However, that game has to be won, whether that's 40 to 45 or 10 to three. Um, um, yeah, no question. No, give, but given that inconsistency, right? You know, which you see this weekend. We go, oh, this team's great. Now they didn't play well, or vice versa. Um, you know, your team, your offense, just has not scored enough points. So that mm -hmm. seems to be a consistent thing. You know, it's yeah. not like you guys scored forty one game and then ten the next. So if you could just give me one or two things besides the buzzwords about execution or consistency that um, you have confidence that this team your team will score more points, you know, in, in these last, um, you know, 13 games? Um, I would say the fact that we have, like, in this, for instance, the Dallas game. Like, I don't know if you remember way back in, like, the early, like, mid-2000s, like, Alabama and LSU played in a national championship game, and it was, like, the worst offensive game ever because, like, neither team got past the 50. Like, that's not us. Like, if that was the case, then that would be we are – we're in hell. We can't get anything going. We can't move the ball. We got in the scoring position multiple times against Dallas. We scored, I think, on every drive in the first half. And then in the second half, we got in the scoring position other times. If it weren't for a penalty here or there, we would have had – or better execution by us here or there, we would have been in scoring position some more. So that tells you that we're getting into the scoring position, and now you just have to finish from there. But, you know, the encouraging part of that is that we are getting down there. If you're not getting down there, then you don't have a chance in the first place. So – you know, I would say that going forward is what we um, we try to hang our hat on is, all right, we, we have done a good job of getting there, and now we have to finish when we get there. And you've been on offenses that haven't got there. Exactly. Yeah. I definitely yeah. have. <laughs> so I know the difference. You know the difference. Thank you, Darius. Appreciate it. We'll take three more. Tom Canavan. Hey, Darius. How you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Um, the question I have is kind of this big picture. I mean – you said you watched some TV yesterday, and what seems to be the common theme is that there are some teams show up some days that don't show up the next day. When you're sitting at one and three, do you sit there and go, we're really not that far out of it? Oh, yeah, it's a long year. Long year. I mean, four games is, like you said earlier, a quarter of the year. Um, got a lot more football to play, and ultimately, if we play better going forward, you know, we'll get different results. and. And, you know, you'll look up and we'll be where we want to be. And do you sit back and look at the Washington game and scratch your head and go, how are they three and one and we should have beat them? Yeah, I mean, if you look at that game specifically, like they didn't, they, I don't, they didn't score any touchdowns. They won with all field goals. So, I mean, and they found a way to, to beat us that day, you know? So it's, it's not always, like, that's why I said it's the NFL. It's not always going to be, you know, you get in the end zone three, four times. You would love for it to be that way, but, you have to find a way to, like I said, win each game the way that game needs to be won. Thank you. Mark Hanzaro. Hey, Darius, thanks for doing this. Um, I, I have two unrelated questions, one of which is, what do you see as the advantages and disadvantages of, of having the time off from a Thursday game to a Sunday game? Because there were, like, I just as an example, the Jets came out yesterday and were completely out of sync after looking really, really good the previous week. What's the advantages versus, you know, the extra rest versus staying sharp? I think the advantage is that gives your body time to recover. You know, obviously playing that Sunday, Thursday, back-to-back -back is a very short window to, to play football in. So um, it's nice to have the time for your body to recover. But um, I think it's important to stay – if not fully physically locked in, mentally locked in, whether that be like, I wouldn't say that it's a time to like go to Miami and kick your feet up on the sand, you know, like it helps to, you know, get treatment or watch extra film or, you know, stretch, do Pilates, whatever it is you like to do to keep your body right. And this time, you know, to try to keep yourself mentally into it, keep your body into it, but not fully relax. 
And just as a, as a follow, unrelated, uh, you, you guys have been to Seattle uh, in recent years, and it hasn't been a good trip for you guys. What is it that's difficult about playing there? Uh, and, you know, and what are your memories? Uh, we're one and one there, aren't we? Since I've been here. I feel like uh, you know what I might. I, you you. We beat them that six and ten year, and then we lost the last time we went there. Right? Yeah, well, I guess it was last time I'm looking at. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, is it a difficult place to play? Uh, For sure. I mean, I, I mean, they have they obviously you know the twelves are well known. They're well. Um, documented you know it's a loud place to play they have a good football team they've been a good football team for feels like the last two decades you know so they're always competitive and uh we know it's going to be a tough challenge but um we're going to work to go out there and get a win thank you appreciate it last one art stapleton hey darius please no no crowd that first time when you guys went out there there was no crowd in stands oh yeah you're right that was covid year all right um, in terms of Seattle, we, you know, you talked about watching games over the weekend. They're obviously playing tonight, but when you're watching a game like that, and because this has become such a week to week league, can you get, can you fall into a trap of watching a, a, you know, that one game tonight and forming opinions off of a team or have you gotten to the point where in your experience, you know, how to assess a team over a larger period of time rather than looking at them, you know, well, this is what they did the last game, so we're going to anticipate, you know, this versus maybe a bigger picture. For sure, because there's also matchups involved in this where certain teams maybe match up better with better with the team or match up differently with the team than you do. So um, obviously tonight it kind of helps, you know, you get a little uh, a precursor, I guess, to be able to watch a full game of them and, um, for me as a receiver, I get to watch their DBs up against Detroit Scott. You know, uh, you know, I would say Amon Ra, one of the better receivers in the league. Uh, Khalif Raymond, they got some other good wideouts. So, you know, I'll get a chance to see them go up against those guys and, you know, more so get a feel for how they play and, and the way they look. Um, whether they win or lose ultimately has, is irrelevant. But, um, you know, for me, I try to take more away from, like, you know, how do they play, their style of play, uh, those types of things.